Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 20th of March 1890, Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany formally accepted Otto von Bismarck's resignation. As Minister President and Foreign Minister of Prussia, Bismarck had overseen the unification of Germany in 1871. He then continued as Chancellor of Germany for almost two decades. Throughout this time, Germany dominated European politics and controlled the balance of power to ensure peace. The death of Kaiser Wilhelm I, which was quickly and unexpectedly followed by his son Frederick III, led to the young and relatively inexperienced Wilhelm II taking the throne. Rather than allow his Chancellor to govern as he had done for the previous few decades, Wilhelm preferred to have a greater say in the running of the country. This led to a series of confrontations between the two men as they tussled for political control. The situation came to a head in early 1890, when the two men disagreed over social policy. While Bismarck was keen to introduce permanent anti-socialist laws, Wilhelm preferred to be more moderate. The stark difference in their positions became most obvious when Bismarck said he sought a violent confrontation in order to suppress the socialists. Wilhelm later took offence at Bismarck negotiating a new political alliance without his knowledge. With their relationship in tatters, Wilhelm insisted that the 75-year-old Bismarck should resign. He submitted his resignation on the 18th of March, two days before formally leaving office. His departure ushered in the new age of Welt politik. He was succeeded as Chancellor by Leo von Caprivi and dedicated the rest of his life to writing his memoirs. Thank you.